How do you like my green screen? It's interactive. <laughs> okay, all the links for the tools I use to make my videos uh, will be in the description. Uh, I'm not in any way affiliated with any of those guys. I just love their software. So, first things first, uh, you must have a game to showcase your devlog. So do that first. If you're serious about all this indie game dev thingy, uh, you must have a devlog. It's the way to tell your audience, hey, I'm here, I'm making this cool thing. Come and join me, follow my progress and be a part of the process. Be part of my community. So, first thing, you must have some idea of what your game is going to be. But please don't make another Minecraft or Flappy Bird clone. Please. I mean, we, we've seen enough of those. You know, no, it's not going to be the next big thing. It's, it's history. So try to make your game your own. There is nothing wrong with cloning games for fun or as a learning project or for the love of a dying genre or a franchise. I mean, as I understand it, Stardew Valley started out this way. And as I know, that's one of the most successful indie games ever made. But still, the guy took like four or five years to make it. So think about it. I mean, after that, you know, you should write some sort of script. Don't make it your shopping list, okay? Uh, th things like, I did this, I did that, I did that, and then I did this. We've all seen those devlogs. And we all click away at some point because it's just plain boring, okay? Do something cool with your game. Uh, tell people about it. Uh, showcase some awesome visuals. Or explain how you struggled through something and tell them what you have learned from it. So make it inspirational or educational or mind-blowing if you'd like. Uh, you can show that cool shader that you were struggling with for a month and explain why you never gave up and what makes it tick. Or make it funny, you know, put a joke or two in, think that, things that make you chuckle or make you laugh. I mean, have fun while making those. I do that all the time. Uh, you will find people that have same sense of humor as you, and those people will follow you. And these are your first fans. Congratulations, you are a rock star now. Not yet. But we can hope, right? After this, it gets a bit technical. As all this before wasn't, but... So, you wrote a script, and now you have to record it. I use Audacity for voiceovers. It's easy to use, and it has a lot of cool features. Uh, you will probably hate your voice. And that's okay. Uh, everyone does. This is normal. Uh, don't, don't think too much of it. Uh, so, what you should do is you should record a few seconds of silence and then read your script loud and clear and do it a couple of times until you like the way it flows. And once you're satisfied with it, save your recording. Apply noise reduction filter on the entire audio recording. Apply some compression that will bring up your vocals a bit, up a bit. Uh, and it especially helps with people with low quality microphones like this one. This guy here, yeah. <laughs> uh, play around with bass and treble until you find your voice agreeable, but don't overdo it on the bass because I did it a couple of times and it's quite annoying. Make it agreeable, you know, a pod podcast like or something like that. So apply a limiter filter to avoid clipping your voice over uh, and add a normalized filter to even out the levels. You know, so you don't get those large differences in volume of your voice. For example, if you're speaking in a lower lower volume at one point in your devlog and then talking really loud, this evens it out and makes it more flowy, let's say, flowy. Something like that. I don't know. Makes it flow better. Uh, 
After that, all it's left is to remove the blank audio from the beginning and the end of the track and make sure to remove tongue clicks, you know, those yummy sounds, uh, remove the ums, uhs, ahs, and pauses, like this. No one wants to listen to silence, okay? And remove breathing sounds, that's just nasty. <sighs> no one wants to hear that, okay? So, next thing is... Well, that's it. Your voiceover is done, and now you can export it. Uh, as for the visuals, I usually don't show my face in my devlogs. I mean, there's no need for it. I am not there to promote myself. I'm talking about my game. I'm showing what I did with my game and how my ga game looks. That's my preference. You can add a tiny little box in the right or the left corner with your talking head or just keep yourself private. Depends on what kind of person you are. Uh, all you have to do now is to edit your video after you recorded your game and devloggy stuff. I mean, that's not really all, but this is the biggest part, I guess. Uh, for video editing, I use OpenShot Video Editor. It's free, it's easy to use, and it's ugly looking. But uh, I like it, and I learned how to use it by accident, I guess, and I guess I'm stuck with it for a while now. Uh, I mean, there are a large variety of video editing software and out there, you know, and I'm not saying this is the best one, or I'm not even saying that you should use it. That It's just my opinion, and that's just one of the options. You can use some of those really expensive and complicated things, uh, Adobe Premiere or stuff like that. I ain't got the money. To, to pay for that, nor the time to learn how to use it. So I'm stuck with this. Uh, I usually add some overlay text on screen like this. There should be some text around my head floating around. I do this to make my devlogs uh, more appealing, make them more fun. I poke fun at my English mistakes, I add some ironic notes on what am I doing. I also add them to call out myself on my own personal BS. To make these, I use GIMP. It's a cool open source uh, image editing tool. You can use Photoshop or whatever tool you like. I simply use GIMP because I know how to use it. It's open source, it's free. Look, I, I mean, I'm not paying Adobe all that money for a Photoshop license, okay? Subscription? Thank you, but no thank you. And, and second, even if I wanted to pay them, I wouldn't know how to use it. And it would take me a lot of time to learn how to use Photoshop, so this is just a convenience thing for me. And that's it. Uh, I guess your devlog is now ready. All you have to do now is to gather some cojones and publish it on YouTube, and share it to your friends, family, social media, and keep repeating that until you finally publish your game, and become famous, and rich, and uh, can afford this nice green screen, interactive one, like I do, eh, with some... Uh, I'm not sure what that was, that was something nasty. Anyways caterpillars. Damn. Yeah. As I was saying, share it to your friends, family, and YouTube people the same way I'm doing it right now with my game. Stinky Feet, The Adventure of Bigfoot. It's awesome. You, you, or crazy. I don't know. You can wishlist it on Steam. The link is in the description. I guess that's it. If you like this tutorial, tutorial like this video so I know that you liked it or dislike it so I know that you disliked it uh, subscribe for more stuff like this uh, click on the bell icon to be notified once the next tutorial or a devlog comes out uh, drop a comment uh, if you agree or disagree with my approach to devlogs let's make some discussions 
and you can join my discord yeah there's a link also for that and uh, that's it thank you for watching this entire video you're awesome and bye until the next time